Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and in today's little dev update we take a look at the latest patch that has come to Steam. We are discussing some of the issues we still have with them, crash bugs, saving and so on. And then we talk about all the new content which is in this little update. And then I give you some news about the standalone version as well and why it's running late. Alright, right into topic one. As I believe that you all can read, I won't be going through the whole patch notes for you, but I will just comment quickly about that uh, there have been quite a few saving issues, like saving trims of cars and so on, for plenty of people. And while we ourselves weren't able to reconstruct these issues, we have taken a few measures against this stuff to happen. And these changes have been implemented in the latest version, and I hope this solves quite a few of these instances where you get corrupted files and so on and so forth. If you are still experiencing that, that is something we would like you to report. Just as much as crash bugs, some people are still having a few issues on startup and we want to sort those out before we move on to adding new content. So please report them to us, either the Steam forum or our, uh, our own little forum on our webpage and uh, always post the uh, description of what is happening as well as the game log.txt you find in your documents my games automation folder the second topic of this little dev update is the new car bodies which have been added to this latest version and there are plentiful i think there are eight different ones even with many different variants uh, let's take a look. So we have a new 50s huge saloon and coupe uh, style body and then there's plenty of good 80s stuff. I will just highlight a few things you have been looking forward to. There's a proper off-roader in there now and a van as well as a ute and that should satisfy quite a few of you who have been uh, waiting for these. Also we have a bit of a non-production-ish car in there which was created by one of the forum members it's an awesome awesome car body uh, you will have lots of fun of it it is an 80s Le Mans style prototype and that one is insane you can fit in 495s in the rear uh, that is kind of cool also it has a huge engine bay. Uh, mid engine loads of stuff to drive you. I think this one will be setting quite a few lap records. Anyway, then there's a uh, 90s Roadster as well, as well as um, some other stuff which uh, you probably will find when looking at the big list of cars. The last topic of this little dev update is the standalone version. And why is it running late? Well, it is running late because we had several problems with it. And once Wednesday evening came and we discovered another one, we decided to roll the uh, standalone version into this little content update, which was supposed to come at the end of the week anyway. That makes a lot of sense. And right now we have a fully working standalone version for internal testing. We have the new launcher for it and there's a new demo version out as well. Uh, well, not out yet, not officially, but we are currently testing it. It has been tested several times before, so we f hope this is the final version. And if that all is the case, all is good and dandy, then we will be able to release it this um, late night European time. And yeah. That's all for today, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.